Good morning, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Wiens. We are in the countryside of Hungary and one of the most special Hungarian food dishes is called holasli, which is a Hungarian fisherman's soup. It's made with lots of paprika. There are two main versions, each from a different town in southern Hungary. Um, and so I thought it would be an amazing Hungarian food trip to try both versions in their towns, both different rivers of origin as well, in one single day. And so we are on a road trip, a food road trip, on our way to the first city, to a place called Szeged. Szeged, right, Adam? Seged to try the first version of Fisherman's Soup. Welcome to Seged, which is a town on the banks of the Tisza River, and it's home to what is one of the most famous, one of the most famous uh, fisherman, Hungarian fisherman's soup recipes dishes in Hungary and it's quite a peaceful little place. We've come directly to the restaurant which is right on the banks of the river. Um, it's scenic. It's a beautiful restaurant. Oh, feels yes, great to be here. Really I mean, when it comes to food around the world and there's two or three variations, the only the best way to uh, get a feel for both of them and to compare and contrast both of them is to eat them back to back. Is, of course, and, we're starting in Seged, which is the version, um, and then it just has an English explanation of the version that they, the fisherman soup that they make, uh, which is where they boil the fish and lots of onions, it says, and then it mash it through a sieve. First dish has arrived, and this is kind of like the the appetizer. But it is fish. They said the fish belly, right? The fish, the fatty uh, fish yeah, belly, the or the stomach, fat part, the stomach, yeah. or the yeah, the fish belly, uh, deep fried. So that's going to be fatty and crispy, and then also with uh, some onion rings fried as well. Squeeze on a little lemon to begin with. I'm going to part the onion rings and get some of the good stuff down there. That oh, the little pieces of fried fish belly like that right there and you can just see that kind of like bubbly bubbly fish belly all right man cheers, cheers. oh wow mm. Mm. Oh, fish oil just melting <laughs> in your mouth with crunchiness it's amazing fish fat goodness you can feel the omega 3s just <laughs> like entering into your system <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's try another piece with a sauce. No. And then we got a tartar sauce to dip in. I think I'll also chase this with a, an onion, a raw onion. Reach in for some of these raw onions. Yeah. Raw onions. I think would make the perfect compliment because it's so oily rich. Mm. That is so incredibly good. And it's also onion rings as well. Squeeze on a little more. Yeah, the lemon also is great. And immediately, this is the fisherman stew. Immediately, she set it down on the table, and you can smell the aroma. Um, a little bit fishy because it's all freshwater fish, but then you smell like the undertone of the paprika. Um, they use spices. They you can see like the top layer is like a layer of the like paprika oil. I think the red oil. The way they make it here is that they boil some of the fish and onions and they they mash it through a sieve. So you can see like the broth is a little thicker, like some kind of like puree. And then we also got a cup of the on the menu. It said the milt and the spawn. Dish some of it out into our bowls first, and first we're gonna try the catfish, the catfish version. And yeah, you can see that that broth is like pureedish. Okay, thank you. Ready? And also typically eaten with bread, and these these are some huge thick slices of bread. It's gonna be my first taste the catfish. This is the catfish, right? Yeah. 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 Okay. Oh, yes. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, I love it. It's delicious. Like it's a, it's not a really strong, strong flavor. 
but it's like a mellow, slightly fishy because of the river fish. The paprika in there, mm -hmm. you taste the onion undertone. Um, it's really it's a bit like spicy. Not sure, maybe just for me. A little bit spicy, <laughs> a little bit spicy. <laughs> Another fact I just remembered. Okay, we can't accept it as a full fact, but um, they said that it's one of the, maybe the spiciest dish that's native to Europe. At least that's what Wikipedia said. So I don't know if we can fully trust that, but this, I mean, there's not a lot of spicy dishes native to Europe. Yeah, this one is the carp, right? Yep. Yeah. Next one. Yeah, and as you reach down in the bottom of the, the bowl, you see more of the chilies, the paprika. Um, version number two, this is with just same, same looking soup, just different. This is carp. more meaty yeah. Yeah. yeah absolutely less the the catfish has a bit more of a freshwater fish muddy kind of taste to it which I kind of like too but the the carp is a bit cleaner tasting and then we also got to try the special yeah I think this is also the same soup too it's just the yeah, yeah. it's just the goodies from the <laughs> from the carp and by goodies I mean the milt and the spawn a little bit of oh, a, little, a little bit of oh look at that Okay, I'll try to get a little bit of both in one bite. There we go. I think this is a this is gonna be a loaded bite. Mm. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah, that really is the gem of the pan of the soup. A little bit creamy with the with the eggs, so you can you can feel that texture, that kind of like crumbly, almost cottage cheese texture to it. And then we also wanted to try one of the fried whole fish. It's called a Xander fish. Um, and I love how it's kind of just curled up perfectly on the plate with fried potatoes. It's gonna be very good with a sprinkle of lemon as well. What? Look at this guy. That's awesome, you could stand him up. Nice and fleshy. Looks like just a little light batter on the fish too. There we go, Anna. That is hot and fresh. Mm. Mm. Very tasty. Yeah. Love it. Like it's, it's a very neutral, meaty tasting fish. Like the texture is really good too. It's so fleshy. Mm. The lemon really helps. And with the I lemon, yeah. It goes very well with it. You're right. It was a fantastic meal and uh, just a great food experience of Hungary. Um, and that's the type of restaurant you would love to just eat and just kind of hang out and relax there for the rest of that afternoon, looking out over the, the river, enjoying the relaxing atmosphere. But unfortunately, well actually fortunately, um, on last bite we are immediately leaving because we, are, we need to drive. It's about an hour and a half drive to the next place. Oh, exactly 109 kilometers from first fisherman soup to second fisherman soup in 135 kilo in 109 kilometers an hour and 35 minutes we will be there okay that was a good exactly hour and a half drive welcome to baia and this town is on the danube river so it's a different river a different style of fisherman's soup okay i'm ready to eat again this place is great it's a really relaxing place we're kind of in the patio outside area and ah yeah it's like a real like riverside community here. Okay. Food has arrived fast. I am thrilled. This is such like home style looking Hungarian food. It really feel like you're just in the owner's home. Um, and some major differences between 
the Baya style of hola sle, hola sle. And some major differences. Number one, the most evident one is that you can see that the fish, the piece of carp, is served on the outside of the soup. And so you got like a fish steak, plus some of the, those are chilies? Uh, or is that like so. a type of fruit Not sure if it's chili, but it's just paprika maybe. Okay, a type of paprika. The color of the fisherman's stew is so bright red here. I love that color. And then there's also um, egg pasta in it. There's so many differences just from the appearance. So do you think we should start with the cold fruit yes. soup first? Okay, yes, that, that would definitely. be typically to, to start with. Okay, yep. and then we'll move on to the rest of the dishes. Cold yeah. fruit soup. The cold fruit soup, it's a tradition in Hungary, right? And it's, yeah. it's, it's like an actual, it's actually like a, a starter. Yeah, yeah. Not a actually, dessert, right? Yeah, it's like okay. a main soup. So there's... You eat before the meal, yeah. That's awesome. So there's cherries in here, there's some other types of fruit as well. And then that's like a, a broth of fruit as well. Yeah. Mm. I love this soup. I can see the look on your face. You loved it. Yeah <laughs> I can see how that's like Really refreshing especially on a hot summer day. Exactly. Like that would be like exactly. really really good. I mean, it's still really good. Yeah, that's great I love how it's actually in Hungary eaten like a soup before a meal. Okay That is really good, but I can't wait for the I can't wait for the soup, the hot soup. So try some of the soup and noodles first and then dig into the fish? Yes. All right, let's try that. the noodles first. Yeah. Now that we're digging into these noodles, you can see the broth, how different it is from the, the seged version. Because yeah. the seged version, you can see the, the pulpified fish, like the puree. This and that brownness underneath the red paprika oil. This one is just pure like paprika yeah. and <laughs> just like pure red. Mm. Mm. Oh wow, you really taste like more of a straightforward paprika taste to it. Yes. I, it's I like more, yeah. more condensed paprika taste. Yeah. I mean, even from the color. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Oh, that's incredible. Okay, but we gotta follow it with some of the yeah, actual carp, right? And then we can just kind of eat that on its own. So the carp. Bone. Mm. Oh man, that fish is so creamy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can yeah. taste like the oil almost coming out of it <laughs> as you take a bite. Mm. It's delicious. You want to try one of these? No, it's okay. I, I think I'll. Skip. It doesn't really look like a chili. It looks more like a like a tomato, but no, not even a tomato. Yeah. Oh wow. Oh, that is so good. <laughs> that is a, I'm pretty sure it's a chili, but it's like almost like tomato-y on the inside. It does like gush with like tomato seeds. It really tastes like a cross between a tomato and a chili to me. It's so juicy. Fill it up when the juice comes out of it. It's definitely a chili. Masterpiece. It looks like a masterpiece of a dish. Um, it is a masterpiece of a dish with that, like paprika, sauce, the catfish, the pasta with the cottage cheese, the yep. fried pork skin. Yeah, it's some bacon. Yes. Get some of the catfish, moving in with some of the pasta, with some of the cheese and bacon. The sauce on top, paprika sauce, there we go. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, that's really good. That's really good. That is unbelievable. A sauce of paprika. Okay, the richness is coming from that sour cream, you know, cottage cheese, and the fried bacon on top. But that kind of mixes with the, the paprika sauce. The creamy catfish, the fatty catfish. That's amazing. I love it. That is amazing. Wow. That is stunning. I can say right off the bat, that's one of the best dishes I've had in Hungary. Let's try the goulash yep. while we're at it, and then we'll come back to finish the rest of these dishes. The goulash. Okay, so this one is, yeah, this one is beef. Um, again, just that thick layer of paprika. They know what they're doing with paprika at this restaurant. <laughs> this is just an extra bonus dish that we just decided to order. Mm-hmm. It's very homemade. Yeah. Again, it's like 
it's like the undertone of beefy brothiness on the bottom. But the what what stands out to me about goulash and the, the fisherman stew, fisherman soup, and a lot of Hungarian dishes is kind of the layers of flavor, like the meaty undertone, and the paprika is like the it's like the overtone layer flavor. Oh yes, okay. Would you like a slice of bread? Oh no, thank you. Okay. So good. That bread just like dissolves into into soup, actually. And then you dunk it like that. Okay, I'm gonna try an ultimate bite here. Get some of the carp. Some of the carp on my spoon. Add one of these beautiful, beautiful chilies. And then just do a full re reducing submerge. Oh yes. This is probably the best bite that you can get here. <laughs> it looks good. <laughs> and then get it to your mouth before you spill too yeah. much, too much of the broth. Oh yeah. Oh, that chili is spicier mm. than the first one I have. Mm. Mm. That just. The chili has like a serious, quite a skin on it. But then it just like explodes with like, mmm, like a fruity tomato chili flavor. The creamy fish, the broth, the noodles. What a dish, everything. Yeah. I take some of that, especially some of that bacon, <laughs> mingle it with the paprika sauce. The bacon just like makes it even more alive. What a dish. <laughs> it's so creamy. I love it. Yeah, the, the sour cream. And it like blends into the paprika so well. Oops, I had a bit of a, a party foul on the white tablecloth, but I'm sure that has to happen like with everybody who eats here. That's just, I think that's part of the dish, eating the dish. And also, I think my lips are a little bit red from that paprika. That's how you know you've been eating good, the best Hungarian food when your lips are red from paprika. That meal was absolutely spectacular. And Adam said we gotta try one dessert. Adam, what's this dessert? It's like a chestnut puree. A common Hungarian dessert? Yeah, yeah I would okay. say so, yeah. Dig deep to get that, that chestnut puree. Oh, it's kind of like, almost like grainy. And it is actually chestnut, right? Mm -hmm. okay. yep. Like shredded chestnut. Yeah, look at that texture. It's almost like, it almost does look like Thin little noodles. All right, to end an amazing day. Mm. Wow. Okay, that's something like you have to think about to even gather your thoughts. <laughs> it's like little fluffy little, like curly noodle shapes, but that totally throws off your mind because it doesn't have that texture at all. It's more almost like a mashed, I mean it is chestnuts, but it is like a like a starchy, nutty, almost like mashed potatoes. Kind of, kind <laughs> it's kind of, of like potatoes like, and mashed potatoes. And then the spice that you really taste immediately is nutmeg. Yes. Lots of nutmeg in there for sure. Okay, wow. I can, like, for sure I can say that's one of the best, probably the best meal I had in Hungary. Uh, Adam, Seged, Seged, or Baya? For me, it's Baya, because of the percot that we ate with the fish. That, yes. was, that was amazing. For me, without a doubt, the clear winner in my taste buds is Baya as well. Because, well, they're both, they're both really good. And I think it also really depends on what you like, what you like, because the, the Seged, we were talking the Seged version, it's a little less spicy. Yep. It's a little less like, maybe it's more refined, like mm -hmm. more complicated. It's more, it's more, you can taste that puree of fish and it's more like, it's thicker. It's more like stew like yep. to me. Exactly. The Baya version is more spicy and not only more spicy, but more like, 
spice. Yeah. Uh, you can just taste the paprika way more pronounced, way more condensed. Um, and it's thinner because it's, and they, this fish is served on the side and then those little, those little cherry chilies that just burst on the side is, that was a highlight for me too. And then, like you said, the pork yeah. that was the exactly. winner of a dish here too. But anyway, exactly. all of that to say, that was just a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Thank you, I enjoyed Adam. it a lot. Thank you so cool. much. So thank you My so pleasure. much, Adam. Massive thank you to Adam for uh, driving us, for taking us around. Adam is so cool. Huge thank you, Adam. And I want to say a big thank you to you for watching this video. And if you haven't watched all the videos in this Hungry Food series, I'll have the link in the description box that you can check out, that you can watch all the videos. And make sure that you subscribe. I'm going to be publishing a lot more food and travel videos. And I'll cl also click the little bell icon so that you can notified of the next video that I publish. Thanks again for watching. Goodbye from Baya. And I'll see you on the next video.